Hello, Smithers. See what's going on here? Okay, so it senses the controller. It should auto configure your controller. If not, you can press start and then controller settings and configure your controller will be in there. So in order for this to work, you do have to head over to config. You could just scroll through until you get to config. And you do need to hit this reset right here. Otherwise, it's going to be like, dude, what's up? I got this image and it's got no games. What's going on? So you do have to do this, do a quick reset. It should reload the image. Now, this is Recall Box. It also uses Emulation Station. A lot of people like Recall Box a little better because it's a little more user friendly. There's a lot more options in the menus versus uh, RetroPie, where you often have to go into the Linux and type code or things like that. Just like that, in RetroPie, you would have had to like mess with some sort of script. But as we saw there, you just go to System Settings. I'm sorry, you go to uh, Sound Settings, and they have a front end music. So people who like music, you just have an on and off. Pretty sweet, right? You have an instant output device, uh, as well as you can launch Kodi straight from pressing Start. So there's a lot of like little things that are just really user friendly where you don't have to like add a menu, do settings like that. This is why a lot of people like Recall Box. And uh, this is actually like one of my, I've, I've only probably messed with Recall Box a couple times. So this is new for me. But as you saw, we reset. And now look at this. We have Super Nintendo 787. We have Nintendo Entertainment System 787. Nintendo 64. This is pretty quick too. 315 games. Wow. So that's quite a collection. Because typically it's um it's three hundred and three. There's a couple extra Nintendo sixty four games. One thousand one hundred and seventeen Game Boy Advance games. A lot of those are duplicates, but there's about nine hundred original games, maybe nine fifty or so. Game Boy Color five forty eight, it's pretty typical. Game Boy five seventy four. Sega Genesis not Mega Drive eight hundred and thirty two. Sega Master System two hundred eighty one. Game Gear two hundred seventy five. PC Engine ninety six. Lavretro 1500, that's a nice little arcade set right there. Atari 2600, 644, and here we are back at Super Nintendo. Another thing you need to know about this image is when you download the torrent, it will stop at 99.9%. .9%. It drived me crazy. I was like, what the hell? I rechecked it, I restarted it. Evidently, there's like a missing file or something, or the way that it was packaged, it will not go to 100%. When you get to 99.9, .9, you are finished. When the speed goes down to like one kilobyte per second, that's when you can go ahead and delete the torrent or keep seeding it if you can. That'd be awesome. And then you can write the image. Now, what's really confusing is what you just saw earlier where you have to hit that reset. So a lot of people probably download the image, write it, and they're like, you know, I knew it. 99.9, .9, it didn't finish, and now I wrote it, and I wasted all this time. No, you didn't waste your time. You're still good. What you need to do is just 99.9 .9 is all good. Go ahead and write the image at 99.9. .9. Format your SD card, write it. It is a 32 gigabyte file. Let me give you the exact uh, size. You're going to go ahead and just format your SD card and then one Win32 if you're on a PC or run Pi Baker if you're on a uh, computer and just write it to your SD card. Uh, it's 28.9 gigabytes and exact amount of bytes is 31,104,958,464. That's going to work for most high end 32 gigabyte SD cards. I'll put some links in the description for those like Samsung, Patriot, uh, SanDisk. Those are all going to be just fine. Um, I'm running this on a 64 gigabyte SanDisk. You can run it on a 32, but SanDisk, they're class 10. They run, they run well. So there you have it. Once you get that done, you get the 99.9% .9 download. You write it. Writing takes about uh, 20 to 30 minutes, 32 gigs. And then uh, you boot it. Make sure to do that reset. Otherwise, you'll be really confused. Controls are pretty self-explanatory. And here are all the systems. Let's see. Here we go. So there is no box art. All right, let's check out this arcades. We already did. Let's check out some more. Alien Challenger World. Alien Storm, great game, by the way. Jump around a little bit. Let's go to PC. Hey, oh.
Let's see if the original Donkey Kong works. Let's see, DK. How high can you get? Not very high. Over that ladder. Dang it. See, you wait too long, you get wrecked. Alright, not like I said, about one ladder. Is there a strategy to skip the la just skip the hammer? I feel like this one's gonna come to the end. Alright, cool. Jesus. They have Excite Bite, Excite League. No, but it might be inverse. F1, Fatal Furies. A lot of you guys like fighting games, so let's just make sure there's four. Dang, get wrecked it. Right, I'm gonna move one ahead. So that works just fine. So when you're in the game, it goes to your um, analog stick, but in emulation station, it is the D pad that you're gonna use to get around. Tools and Ghosts, Pull and Act series. GP Riders, Gunsmoke, Gunbird is on there, Gunbird 1, I don't see Gunbird 2, Happy Puncher, Heavyweight, Hit the Ice is on there, like Hockey, Hyper Street Fighter 2, there's a bunch of, every Street Fighter you can think of from the Alpha, Alpha, Alpha 3, Third Strike, it's all on there, Street Fighter 2, the five or six different versions of that, all on here, Knights at the Round, those games are good. Last Survivor. Mahjong, if you want to play that. Mario Bros. Versus. You got Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. All great games. Let's make sure that works. Running good, no lag. Running really quick. Get out, of, get out of my way. I gotta stop doing that. Mega Man, Mega Man 2. We got Metal Slugs, right? We got Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 5 plus an X. You got the whole class. You got Michael Jackson Moonwalker on here. All right. Moon Alien is on here. Pac Man's. Neo Drift Out, good racing game. Bunch of ninja games. Operation Wolf 1 and 2. More Pac Man's Outrun is on here. Pocket Fighters. Power Instincts, Power Spikes. Punch Out, Puzzle Bubble. R Type. Racing Hero. Rambo. Robocop 2, Rock Deck. Bunch of Samurai Showdowns. Shadow Dancer. 
Skywolf, SNK versus Capcom is on here at night. Great game. Bunch of space games. Getting close. We got a Stake Swinner. All so all the Street Fighters, like I was telling you earlier. Jesus. All the Street Fighters, like I was telling you earlier. Super Punch Out, Super Puzz Fighter 2. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2 X, Super Street Fighter the New Challenger, Superman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, Tetris, hopefully they have Tetris 2 Plus, no? Maybe somewhere else on the image. King of Fighters, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. 2002, 2005, 2000, 2003. Looks like almost all of them. The Last Blade 1 and 2. The Ninja Kids. The Simpsons arcade game. Four player and two player on here. The real Ghostbusters, The Punisher, all really good games. This is looking pretty good. Turbo Outrun. No Mortal Kombat, I noticed. We're almost there in the V, W. We have WWF WrestleMania. Yep. Superstars and WrestleFest. X-Men 2-player and 3-player. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. X-Men Children of the Atom. And that's it. Zombie Raid. And then back up to the top. We started on C, right? So I guess I could go through A really quick, A and B. So in case anybody wants to see something, see if a certain game was on here, you can pause the screen. Maybe it'll show you uh, the game you're looking for. So this is a nice set to get started with. You could always expand on this, add a little more. Very easy to do. Captain Commando's on here. Conjures on here. Okay. All right. So that's it. You got Atari 2600. You got your Super Nintendo, your Nintendo, Nintendo 64. Let's try a game really quick. Let's see if Gotland Legend loads. Everyone wishes this game doesn't load in uh, Retro Pie. Not looking too good. Yeah! Yeah! Boing! Damn, that double mushroom now? That double banana? Home stretch. Going home. Mario. Okay. Cool. So you might have to mess with your controls a little bit there. Uh, my X was to exit the game. So let's just test out one more system. How about Super Nintendo? Okay, cool. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let it scroll and then I'm gonna click the first name I get to. Boom. Cyberspan it is. Japan. Whoa. Damn, that 300 kilometers a second there. This was not break. Oh man. All right, so here you have it. This is a recall box-based image. It's 32 gigabytes. 32 is a great size because it's right in that budget range, especially if you're going on the cheap. Um, recall box is super simple. It does come with Cody. It does come with a lot of things already configured. And as I mentioned, it would be great for somebody who maybe doesn't want to learn how to use uh, a retro pie. They just want to kind of uh, a quick you know, easy system, you know, people pay for that, um, you know, the ease of use. So do know that it's good for those people looking for something like that. I'm sure there's going to be some updates on this. Uh, shout out to Weird Dirty Gaming for creating the image, setting it all up, getting all the ROMs. Good work on that. And uh, remember to watch the beginning of the video on how to properly set this up. It is not ready out of the box. There's two little things you got to do. Uh, one being the you have to do the reset, and then two that you need to set, even though the torrent says it's 99.9%, it's really 100%. You just have to write the image anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that, we'll see you on the next one.